rocking instrumental, got that blared sax in there, going to Billboard's Hot 100, the Sock Hop years. Welcome to the Sock Hop channel with Mr. DJ. Outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100 to date is May 18th, 1963. Some of the big hits from the uh, this Hot 100 that you might remember, Reverend Mr. Black by Kingston Trail at number eight. Can't Get Used to Losing You by Andy Williams, one of his best records, although personally he didn't care too much for it. I Love You Because by Al Martino at number 10. Two Faces of I by Lou Christie at number 11. And of course, Take These Chains from My Heart by Ray Charles on here. Hot Pastrami by the Dartails. Remember that one? And uh, But uh, let's go all the way down. Gosh, completely lost 45. Rocking Crickets by the Rockin' Rebels at number 87 the week of May 18, 1963 on Billboard's Hot 100. This was the runner-up to their big instrumental Wild Weekend. Let's go back to Wild Weekend real quick because this, this song has a history. Wild Weekend was, uh, was written by a DJ. DJ in Buffalo. His name was uh, Tom Shannon along with a producer named Phil Todoro. It was it, it had lyrics in it. It was written for uh, Tom Shannon's radio show. It was lyrics. The lyrics were the lyrics were top tunes. It's like a promo. You had this rock and roll instrumental on top of it. You had these lyrics, top tunes, news and weather. So nice for us to get together. Tom Shannon, Tom Shannon on, the, on this radio station in Buffalo. Now originally. Uh, it was done, the demo was performed, the music and vocals done by the Russ Hallett Trio. But then, enter the Buffalo Rebels. They asked Tom Shannon, how would you like to DJ at a sock hop? How would you like to play at a party? And Tom Shannon said, yeah, I'll do it. And the, and the, uh, the Buffalo Rebels, they asked, can we do your theme song? We really like your theme song, man. That, that thing rocks. We want to do it. We want to have a crack at it. Tom Shannon said, okay, yeah, that's fine. You can do it. So Tom Shannon, he DJs at the Sock Hop. He plays at their record hop, plays at the record hop, uh, which features the Buffalo Rebels. They do the theme song to Tom Shannon's radio show. And Tom Shannon's there. He's there along with the producer, Phil Todoro. They're like, hey, this these guys they have something. They're doing a they're doing a bang up edition of our of our theme record. And they were so impressed they took the they took the Buffalo Rebels, known as the Rebels, they took them into a recording studio. Recording studio that was in the same building as the production office of Phil the Door and uh, Tom Shannon. And they recorded. Wild Weekend became a local hit. This was in 1961. Came a local hit. But there was no, there was not a, well, let me put it like this. They didn't have a deal with a major record company. Without a, without a distribution deal with a major record company, the song died. The instrumental died. But then, about a year and a half later, well, maybe a little less than that, Swan Records picked it up. And Wild Weekend went to number eight on Billboard's Hot 100. And this record came as Rock and Crickets came as a runner up to that. But Rock and Critics, Crickets actually came out in 1959. Originally came out in 1999 by Hot Toddy featuring uh, Bill Pinnell. Now I'm confused. I don't know if uh, it, this, this edition was re released in 1963. The original edition by Hot Toddy and Bill Pinnell. I'm not sure if it was the original re version that was released in 63 or if the Rebels had redone it. I think I researched it and I think it was the original uh, version of uh, Rock and Crickets that came that was released in 59. It charted in 59, just didn't do very well. Uh, the same one that was re-released in 63. It was released under the Rocking Rebels the moniker to Rocking Rebels. Well, either way, let's go to it. I'm sorry if it sounded confusing because uh, I just want to make sure I got it right. Uh, maybe somebody out there could probably help kind of help clarify things for me here. But let's go to this Billboard's Hot 100. Rocking Crickets by Rocking Rebels at number 87. Up 8 from 95, it peaked at 87. That's it. On Billboard's Hot 100 for four weeks. Spring of 63. 
We're rocking, we're cruising at the sock ops <laughs> with the rocking rebels, rocking crickets.